In this video, I'll be discussing and demonstrating using MeliFS and Fireless Scaler for high available and scalable file services environments. MeliFS is a 64 bit symmetrical clustered file system and is fully journaled. With Melio, it enables multiple servers to share a single file system and have concurrent read write access to files over block level storage, such as Fiber Channel or iSCSI. FileScaler provides centralized management and provisioning of shares across the entire enterprise. When combined with MailFS, FileScaler allows for the creation of clustered shares across many hosts in an active active environment and supports Windows Server 2003, 2008, 2008R2, Standard, Enterprise, and Data Center Edition. Microsoft Cluster Services provides HA but is active passive, limiting the scalability and total amount of I.O. that can be handled to the performance of a single server. When using replication, each server gets its own LUN from the storage device, and the data is copied between all servers to ensure that each server has a copy of the data. This results in poor storage utilization since a duplicate copy is required for each server. Depending on the type of replication, there will either be a significant performance impact on the storage device, or not all data can be consistent at a single point in time, and it is much more complex to manage and scale out. When using MeliFS for clustered file services, all servers have concurrent read-write access to the same volume. There's no need for replication, resulting in good storage utilization and no performance impact. Since all servers have shared access to the same volume, data is always consistent across all servers, and it's easy to configure and manage. When user load increases, servers can be added to the cluster on the fly while there is active I.O. in the cluster. Now that multiple servers have shared access to a volume, I can create folders and share them out from both systems. The problem, as you can see, is that this is a manual operation for each server, as Windows does not store share folder information on the file system. With Filer Scaler, I can centrally manage and provision all my shares from one user interface. Clusters and servers are displayed on the left pane, while shares for those elements are displayed in the center. The top navbar contains all our controls. First, we'll create a new cluster. And add our servers. So here we can see our cluster and the two servers that are part of this cluster. Currently when we select the cluster we see no shares because we haven't created any that are managed by this application yet. Now that we have a cluster created with two servers, we'll go ahead and create a share. Our first option is to select whether we are creating a clustered share or a single server share. A clustered share is a share that exists on our clustered file system MeliFS and can be hosted by many servers concurrently. A single server share is a share that's only hosted by one server, and these can be created on NTFS or MeliFS volumes. We'll go ahead and create a clustered share. Next, we select a cluster. Next, we'll select our volume. In this case, we only have one MeliFS volume currently on these servers. Now we'll browse for a share path. give it a share name and set the permissions. 
You'll notice at the top is a drop down for security template. This allows you to use pre made security templates that have been pre configured with user accounts or group security. Go ahead and create our share. And you can see our share, a new share, was successfully created on both Fenway and Yaki. And that share is now displayed here. We can see the share name, the server, its path, the cluster it's part of, the type of share, how many current connections it has, the maximum connections, and we get green for an online functional status. If we select an individual server, we see that share as well, but Filescaler will also go out and gather the unmanaged shares. Unmanaged shares are shares that exist on the server, but were not created or managed with Filescaler. By right-clicking on a share, there are a number of actions that we can perform, from removing the share, to bringing an unmanaged share under management by Filescaler, viewing the current connections to that share, modifying the security, and modifying the settings. If we view the connections, it'll display which computer the user is connected from, what account they're operating under, and how long they've had an open connection to that share. Selecting security templates brings up our template wizard. Here we can create reusable security templates. Filer Scaler gives you full Active Directory search capabilities. Now that we have a security template made, when we create a share, we can simply apply this template instead of entering individual accounts or groups. Additionally, on the nav bar, you'll see the credential manager. In here, you can add multiple accounts to use with Filer Scaler in the event that you have servers on different domains or local systems that you want to manage as well. Additionally, you can filter out specific types of shares from the share viewer by selecting a filter below. MeliFS and FileScaler have support for a large number of nodes and can support hundreds of nodes in a single cluster, limited only by the hardware. No hardware failover is required. All file servers have active-active connectivity to the file system. There's no dependency on Microsoft Cluster Services and has an easy and intuitive next next installation configuration allowing for file services environments to be set up in minutes. Melio and FileScale are both storage and server hardware agnostic and support mixed operating system and server hardware environments. Both physical and virtual machines are supported and physical and virtual machines can be mixed in the same cluster. Additionally, File scale or MeliFS support Microsoft DFS without the need for DFSR, Microsoft Network Load Balancing Clusters, third-party network load balancers, native Windows ACLs, and the ability to scale number of nodes and storage dynamically on the fly while Active I.O. is present. For more information, please visit Sambolic.com.